Hi, I'm Hannah Murray and I'm playing Martine in Martine at the Windsor Theatre. Cool. So the last play that you were in uh, was That Face. Yeah. Lindsay Duncan, Matt Smith. Yeah. yeah. Why did you choose Martine as, as your as your return to the theatre? Um because I got offered it. Um I I was I think well yeah, I my last play, which was that face, was six years ago. And it was in a very big it was like a 600 seat West End theatre and I'd always been really excited by the idea of doing something in a smaller space and I had a lot of friends who'd done that and said oh it's amazing it's like the best of both worlds it's, you get to be as small as you are on screen but you have the excitement of a live audience and so that was something I was really really keen to do so the fact that this was at the Pembroke which is only 50 people it feels so intimate and um that was really exciting and yeah I'd, I'd never heard of the play before um, but as soon as I read it, I absolutely loved it and I thought the arc that Martine goes through is a really, really amazing one and I thought the idea of exploring that every night would be really fascinating. And also I'd done That Face was a new play and I liked the idea of getting to do something um, from a sort of earlier time period and exploring a slightly different world, or a very different world from my own. Mm. Um, and yeah, that was amazing. I thought, yeah, I thought the character was beautiful and the story was, was really sad and lovely and gorgeous. And um, yeah, it was those things. Um, for the uninitiated, can you tell us a bit more about Martine, both the character and, and the play? Yes, so Martine, the character, is a young girl um, living in rural France in 1920. Um, so it's just after World War I um, and she lives in a very, very tiny village and she's a sort of peasant farmer and her parents own a farm and she works on the farm. And um, then one day a man appears um, under an apple tree um, and he has just come back from the war and he's um, very kind of educated and poetic and exciting and she's never met anyone like him before and they have this kind of incredible summer fling, essentially. And um, yeah, the, but both of them have other options. Um, there's a man who's proposed to Martin um, a year before, and Julian, the guy she's met, has a fiance of sorts, although he chooses not to describe her as his fiance. Um, and yeah, and both those other people are, they fit together. They, you know, like Martine's suitor from her local village, who's you know, also a farmer, also like, they, you know, there are people that are, they can both have the option of going with people that are completely the same as them. And um, there's an extent to which, you, you know, they have this sort of quite doomed relationship because they're just from such different worlds. But that's, I think, also exactly what they're both attracted to each other and it's yeah I think that that I think everyone has had some kind of uh, been in some kind of situation of choosing between different people in terms of a relationship or being chosen between or, um, or being torn about exactly what they want to how whether to follow your heart or your head or those kinds of things so that's kind of the yeah the main thing and the Fimbra is obviously a very intimate venue yes um, What's that been like going from filming something like Game of Thrones with basically a camera and a few crew in your face to, to actually a, a room full of people almost sitting on your lap? I mean, Game of Thrones is not just a few crew in your face. It's quite a massive um, production. I think, I mean, we were talking last night after our first preview about focus. And I think in a way it's a similar sort of process because you can have having a camera right in your face and having audience members you know, that far away is... It's quite similar in that you have to just really, really concentrate on the world that you're trying to create and the other actors and sort of block everything out. And I think that, um, whereas I think sometimes if you're in a bigger theatre, you can kind of feel like you're in a nice little protected little box and you know the audience is there, but you don't really have to, um, you can kind of zone them out more easily, I think, when people aren't so close. So I think it's, yeah, I've found it kind of similar in t to film in some senses, apart from the fact that I think you just have to sustain the momentum of that focus for so much longer because you can't call cut every sort of couple of minutes, you have to sustain it for a whole hour and a half and 40 minutes. I think. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that's one of the differences they're kind of sustaining. Finally, how would you sell Martine to, to anyone that's thinking about coming? I say that it's a really beautiful love story that's really fresh and exciting and feels very, very new. Um, and yeah, it's kind of, it's that sort of, it's got that lovely, subtle mood to it that you get in French films or in Chekhov plays, and I think that anyone that likes that kind of thing will be drawn to it. And I think it's, yeah, it's just five really exciting characters, um, and you get to be really close to them, which I think makes it even better.